India, the world's fifth largest four-wheeler market, is taking steps to implement a vehicle scrappage policy. Good evening, you're watching Fact of the Matter with Navya Singh. On 18th of March this year, the Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways, Nitin Gadkari, announced a voluntary vehicle scrappage policy, an attempt to phase out old and unfit vehicles from the Indian roads. Now, this policy aimed at two things. First, reduce vehicular pollution and second, increase the turnover of the automobile industry from the current 4.5 lakh crore rupees to 10 lakh crore rupees in the coming few years. Now, what does this policy say? In very simple words, personal vehicles will have to go through a fitness test after 20 years, while the time limit is 15 years for the commercial vehicles. The fitness test will include a vehicle's emission test, braking test, testing of the safety components and much more. Now, if the vehicle fails the test, it will be considered an end-of-life vehicle and will be scrapped. Remember, according to the law, it is illegal to drive a car that has not passed a fitness test, as it is considered unregistered. The cost of getting a fitness certificate for commercial vehicles will also increase by up to 62 times. On the other hand, the fee for renewal of registration of private or personal vehicles will also increase by nearly eight times. The fitness certificate and the fitness test fee will be increased for private vehicles from the 15th year onwards from the date of the initial registration. Private vehicles will be deregistered after 20 years if found unfit or in the case of failure to renew the registration certificate. Now, each fitness certificate would cost approximately 40,000 rupees and is applicable for a period of five years, after which the owner of the vehicle will be required to get another fitness test. Now, this is in addition to the road tax and possible green tax that you have to pay while mandatorily renewing your private vehicle's registration after the 15-year period. This means, in addition to the fee that you're required to shell out for the fitness test, you have to pay an extra amount which will differ from state to state depending on their pollution levels. In the Delhi NCR region, for example, the green tax, if implemented, would require the customer to pay about 50% of the road tax upon renewal of the registration. The voluntary vehicle scrappage policy is likely to be implemented later this year in the country. Now, when we talk about pollution emitted by vehicles, the first place that comes to our mind is Delhi. Delhi recorded an increase of 125% in nitrogen dioxide pollution between April 2020 to April 2021. NO2 is a dangerous air pollutant that is released when fuel is burned, as in motor vehicles, power generation and industrial processes. Now let's talk about how effective is the vehicle scrappage policy in case of Delhi and the national capital region. Delhi NCR, because of its dangerous pollution levels, especially during the winter season, is governed by a separate set of norms and regulations that will override the vehicle scrappage policy introduced by the centre. Now, what are the rules that govern the use of old vehicles in Delhi? Vehicles in Delhi have been categorised on the basis of their fuel type and assigned a shelf life. Any registered diesel vehicle which is more than 10 years old and a petrol vehicle which is over 15 years old cannot operate in NCR. These rules have been laid down in various orders issued by the NGT or the National Green Tribunal and the Supreme Court and are completely different from the policy introduced by the Centre. A 2018 order of the Supreme Court validating a National Green Tribunal order has raised several concerns. First, the order goes against the current law that provides for renewal of registration on completion of 15 years from the date of first registration. In simpler words, for example, a person who purchased a car on 1st of January 2007 thinking she would be able to use it for 20 years, that is till 1st of January 2027, will now have to junk it on 1st of January 2022. There are also other problems with the rules in the Delhi NCR region. It presumes that all the cars or vehicles automatically become unfit after completing 15 years. The regulations or rules also lead to patent discrimination of vehicle owners in the NCR region in comparison to those in other states. Now, people in Delhi NCR will have no option but to dump their cars on completion of 15 years, even if their vehicles or cars are fit to run and meet pollution norms. But those people in other states can continue to run their cars even up to 20 years and beyond. 
In simple words, if you're living in Delhi NCR and your car is reaching the end of its life, then your options are very limited. However, car owners in the rest of the country can continue to use them even after a fitness test. This basically means that the voluntary vehicle scrappage policy is not voluntary for those in Delhi NCR. Now, recently, the Delhi Transport Minister announced the state government's plan to approach the Supreme Court regarding its 2018 order. Now, if the Delhi government is able to convince the Supreme Court to review its order, then there is some hope for the policy to have a more prominent role in the region. If not, then the policy is likely to remain in limbo over lack of clarity. So what are the options if your vehicle is nearing the end of its mandated shelf life? A vehicle owner can use their vehicle till the day the shelf life expires. So for instance, a 9-year-old diesel vehicle or a 14-year-old petrol one can be used for another year on NCR roads. However, after the shelf period expires, the options for vehicle owners are very few. The best option would be to sell the vehicle in another state. Now, this can also get you a better monetary return. Experts suggest that it is better if car owners start planning to sell or re-register their vehicles nearing their end-of-life age. Scrapping is an option only if you want to retain the registration number or if a vehicle has crossed 15 years or if it is badly damaged. Now, are there any incentives if you scrap your old vehicle? Well, yes. If you get your vehicle scrapped through one of the registered scrapping centers in the country, you will get approximately 6% of the ex-showroom price of the new vehicle as an incentive. State governments have also been advised to offer a rebate of 25% in road tax for private vehicles and 15% in case of commercial vehicles. Additionally, vehicle manufacturers will also be advised to offer a 5% discount on the purchase of a new vehicle after an individual presents a scrapping certificate. The registration fee on the purchase of a new vehicle shall also be waived off. The United States, European Union, Japan and China had introduced such a policy much earlier and they've been improving it to increase recycling efficiency. For example, the United States has implemented the car allowance rebate system also called Cash for Clunkers program, which offers credit incentives on scrapping of older vehicles and replacing them with new and more fuel efficient ones. Now, what are the environmental aspects or dimensions of this vehicle scrappage policy? Scrapping the end of life vehicles or ELVs is expected to boost new vehicle sales and help the automotive industry thrive. The systematic recycling of these vehicles will also reduce environmental damage maximize energy saving and reduce greenhouse emissions and also provide raw materials for the iron and steel industries. It can also revive the economy and generate large-scale employment. Some experts suggest that scrap is the kink. The timely and regulated disposal of end-of-life vehicles can help save millions of tons of metals from landfills and bring them back to the mainstream of the economy. The primary aim is to make vehicle dismantling and recycling more environmental friendly and to help reduce carbon footprints. It also has immense potential to cut the country's steel scrap import. While there are many environmental aspects to this particular policy, it also makes it extremely expensive and costly for people to keep old cars.